This is Twit. The Parker Pro. You suggested uh, this uh, as a story, Richard. I think you're mm-hmm. right. This was. This is kind of the big thing. It happened on uh, what was it? Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas Eve. Yeah, Eve. was their closest approach. The Parker Solar Probe. Now. When I say it got within 3.86 million miles of the sun's surface, you might say, well, that's not that close. Mm. <laughs> it's really close, isn't it? Well, yeah, considering, we, you know, how far are we from the sun? We're, we're right. 150 million kilometers from the sun. So right. It got awfully close. It's the closest we've gotten anything. And it survived it, too, which is interesting. Yeah. Although, and we're now a week after that event. So we're finally getting telemetry back from it because while it was doing that, it was too close to actually send any data to us. It was on the wrong side. And now it's come swung back around. And sort of so it was heavily armored, I guess, to su- survive the heat. Yielded. But you know, you know, you don't need a lot of solar panels. Just a little bit is enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it got really 6.1 million kilometers, got really close. Uh, mm-hmm. This was and the was 22nd a, time it actually made a close uh, approach. And this was the moving closest at 190 yet. kilometers a second, which that uh, makes it the fastest human made object ever. Yeah, that's moving. It's weird to think in terms of getting closer to the sun means going really, really fast, but that's what happens. Well, but if you've ever put your hand in a flame. <laughs> You realize speed is of the essence, isn't it? Yeah. You just, you don't want to spend a lot of time there in that hot environment. Yeah. Well, and it's that it's not just that it's just that the gravitational effects are so being easy to make it it accelerates it excessively. So yeah, so they have to. Uh, I would imagine they're kind of glancing off of. Yeah, they're skimming through the corona. Yeah, of the sun to take and hoping they have enough speed not to get trapped well they definitely do it's actually really hard to be able to slow down enough to actually impact the sun then that whole trope of just throw it into the sun turns out really difficult thing to do you can't Uh, yeah you couldn't you couldn't get your speed right enough to actually get in there you'll just get slingshot around and thrown back out even if you aim right at the middle yeah it's not that easy to aim at the middle (laughs) you've got to really Okay. You burn a lot of Delta V to do that. So, uh, so this is this is a pretty big deal, I guess. It's they a, said it, it's it, a remarkable machine and it's doing its job brilliantly. Yeah, like you, you know, not every one of them works out as well as this one did, but it did a fantastic job. In what NASA calls a hyper close regime, Parker cut through plumes of plasma still connected to the sun and close enough to pass inside a solar eruption. NASA said it's like a surfer diving under a crashing ocean wave. 500 times the hottest summer day we can witness on Earth. Um, What are we looking for? We're trying to understand why the corona is much harder than the interior of the sun. We're trying to understand the plasma regime, the behavior of the of the protons at this energy level is weird we don't really understand all the magnetic effects so we're just trying to measure the and, and what kind of together. instruments does parker have do you know most of the electromagnetic because that's the main thing that they're dealing with there it's it's just a huge level of field they're not like uh, they don't have a little scoop to capture some plasma no you could scoop once but you're not gonna have a scoop for very long <laughs> after that and we're not bringing anything back right this is not coming back to the earth again so they're just taking measurements so and sending it back again. they're sending telemetry uh yeah. telemetry back that's exactly right very amazing yeah it's a great great mission yeah Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.